I want to add a few remarks to my live stream yesterday, which I will link to below, and to make a few crucial points about the anarchy that we're currently seeing on our streets. Let's start with Black Lives Matter. They are openly and unapologetically a Marxist anarchist communist group whose stated aim is to destroy Western society. I'm not entirely sure what they intend to replace it with, but I don't think it will be very pleasant. In order to destroy Western society, they are they first have to destabilize Western society. And that's what they're doing now very, very successfully. They to do this, they are stirring up hatred, suspicion, fear, and resentment between racial groups. Now Black Lives Matter is made up of people of all races. Let's be very clear here. I said in my uh, uh, live, live stream last night that Black Lives Matter are sending a message to white people that black people threaten them. Let me clarify this. They are sending that message, but let me clarify what is the actual case, despite the fact that Black Lives Matter are stirring up this fear and division between racial groups in this country. It isn't the case that black people are threatening white people. It's communist Marxist anarchists that are threatening white people. And they are threatening white people. You'd have to be completely blind or delusional not to see it. Every other article in the newspaper at the moment is about how awful white people are. It's mainstream and at the moment it's on steroids. This is serious and it's very dangerous and this exploitation of racial division is comes at a time when things were actually really good between races in this country. Partly one of the reasons they intend to destroy it, it was all going too well. But let's not let them. Let's make absolutely sure we know who the enemy is here. The enemy is anarchist, Marxist, communists who seek to destroy our history and heritage and who seek to dismantle everything we know and understand and which has served us well, by the way, for a long time. And it allows for the changes, the good changes that we have made over the years. It's called democracy and it really is, for all its flaws, the best system that we have and we ought to fight to keep it. But getting back to Boris Johnson, he should have said that in his speech. He should have said that Black Lives Matter and their fellow travellers are Marxist anarchists. He should have said that we cannot allow them to cause fear, suspicion and resentment between racial groups at a time when things were going so well. He should also, however, have reassured the white majority who are under attack that he has no time for this white hatred and in fact he will seek to make us an equal society where all races, including white people, are treated with dignity and respect. That is what he should have said. He should also reassure non-white people that we understand that they are not Black Lives Matter. We understand how many are also standing up in defence of this great country because they love it as we do. This is what Boris Johnson needs to say, but he isn't saying it. And what a disappointment Priti Patel is. She's essentially copying Boris's words. Neither of them have anything useful to say. And uh, given that he said, <laughs> he said, the protesters who defaced Winston Churchill's statue will face the full force of the law. We know that's not true. We know that's a lie. And he knows it's a lie. And you know what? One of the people suspected of defacing Churchill's statue was interviewed by the BBC. Not arrested, interviewed by the BBC. So much for facing the full force of the law, eh, Boris? These, the politicians we have now are complicit in this. The press is complicit in this. The media is complicit in this. We have to stand up for decency, for genuinely good race relations and oppose this toxic Marxist anarchism with everything we've got. For Britain will do that. Join us.